In September 2020, Garmin announced the new HRM Pro chest heart rate monitor. The new HRM Pro chest heart rate monitor, which has the both Bluetooth and AND Plus connectivity. And Garmin claims that it collects the accurate data while swimming, cycling, and running or any other exercise. Just like the HRM Try and HRM Run, the HRM Pro also collects the advanced running dynamics, including the running power when it is paired with the compatible Garmin device like 4Runner95 that I'm using or any other Phoenix or any other device. First of all, let me unbox the HRM Pro. So here is, here is what I have got from Garmin. I need to wear this uh, heart rate monitor HRM Pro. So I'll wear this on my chest. Okay, I've done it here. Here is my chest band. And now I'll add this to the watch. So I'll go into settings, sensors, and add new sensor, heart rate sensor, searching, and here you go. The HRM Pro heart rate sensor has been added now. Now I can simply look for the heart rate. If I start any activity, I can look for it. Otherwise, I can simply open an app which shows the heart rate. The strap is made up of the comfortable textile, which is similar to the HRM Try. This particular machine is integrated to the strap which means that you cannot remove it. It is similar to HRM Try. In HRM Try also, you were not able to remove it. So if you remove this particular rubber, which is a different color now in the HRM Pro. To replace the battery, you need to open these four screws, uh, which are uh, through the screwdriver, a small screwdriver, you can open these four screws. And after that, there will be a gasket or a rubber, which you can, we have to remove. And then CR2032 is the battery that uh, you can replace the battery. The moment you replace the battery, put the gasket again, the rubber again, so that it will protect the board from the moisture or from the water. Make sure that rubber seal is perfectly seated when you're closing this again. Battery life of HRM Pro is said to be last for one year. Now let us talk about the connectivity of the Garmin HRM Pro. Garmin HRM Pro has AND Plus and Bluetooth together. Uh, you can connect with maximum two Bluetooth devices, but unlimited AND Plus devices. You will be able to pair the HRM Pro with indoor cycling training platforms like Zwift or Apple TV or any other device that comes with the Bluetooth connectivity. Using Bluetooth, you can connect your Garmin HRM Pro with the Garmin Connect directly, which will help you to synchronize the data directly to your Garmin Connect and you will be also able to update the firmware directly using the Garmin Connect, though it can be done using the strap, uh, using the watch as well. HRM Pro is not only collecting your heart rate, it is also collecting the steps, the intensity minutes, and it can store that on the strap itself. And you may be asking why it is necessary to do that. I'll give you an example. There are various races where you are not allowed to measure the time by yourself. You are not allowed to wear the watch or you are not allowed to take any smartphone with you which will help you to see the time. But at the same time, you also don't want to miss your running dynamics, the steps that you have taken. You don't want to miss the heart rate that you were having during that particular activity. So one way is that you put the strap on your chest and do the activity. Don't wear the watch or don't use smartphone. It will record the heart rate. It will record the steps that you have taken and it will record the intensity. Minute. And then you can synchronize it with your phone. But here, in fact, Another question might be in your mind that you want to see that heart rate or intensity minutes with the particular activity. When you are going for that activity, you start that activity on your watch and keep the watch in the car or give it to someone and then complete the activity and at the end, you save that activity on your watch. So from the strap, then you can download all the data to your uh, device and then it will synchronize to the Garmin Connect and you'll be able to see all the information directly on your Garmin Connect. This is the reason that HRM Pro stores the data on the strap itself. So in your daily totals, heart rate and steps are accounted for. Even during the activity, I was not using the watch, but still I was able to collect the steps and the heart rate. Now let us talk about swimming with HRM Pro. So it is similar to other HRM uh, swim capable straps like HRM Swim, HRM Try. 
During swimming, it becomes very hard for the devices to transmit the data using Ant Plus or Bluetooth. That's the reason. It stores the data internally and then later when you complete the activity, you can download that activity to your watch itself. In terms of data, how much data can be internally stored in the HRM Pro? It can store up to 18 hours of data. So once it downloads the data, the oldest data will be removed first. And that is how the 18 hours of the data will remain there on the, on the strap itself. The HRM Pro is designed for open water swimming. When you are doing swimming in the pool water or the fresh water, it, in fresh water also it's fine, but in the pool water when you are doing swimming, because pool water has various chemicals or the chlorine, that's the reason uh, I will not recommend it to use most of the times in the pool. But occasionally you can definitely use it, but then you have to wash it with the fresh water. So HRM Pro is mainly constructed for the triathlons or for the open water swimming. So it's better to use in the open water swimming. And for the pool, if you are predominantly doing the pool water swimming, then you go for the HRM swim. And HRM Swim has a wider strap and it gives you a better grip. But HRM Try and HRM Pro has the thin strap or a small strap, which is a bit narrow. When I talk about the heart rate accuracy, I tried it. I tried various activities using the optical sensor, using HRM Try and HRM Pro. I did not really see any glitches, any issues with the HRM Pro. I feel it is a better version, it is the newest version and the good thing is that you can update the firmware when there is a firmware, firmware can be upgraded directly using the Garmin Connect. Now let us talk about the running dynamics. HRM Pro not only connects the heart rate but also collects advanced running dynamics when you are using HRM Pro for running. HRM Run and HRM Try are also doing the same thing but do note that this is available only on Ant Plus and not on the Bluetooth. Garmin watches already can collect the basic running dynamics like cadence and stride length on the wrist itself. But when you pair it with the HRM Pro, you will get a lot more including the vertical ratio, vertical oscillation, ground contact time balance and ground contact time as well as running power. Let's go through an example of each of these matrices. I will explain you this in detail in some other video. Let us talk about the vertical ratio first. So vertical ratio is the ratio of the vertical oscillation to the stride length. If the vertical ratio is lower, it is better in fact. For example, throughout my run, the it, it kept on changing because I was doing the trail run. I was going uphill, downhill, and sometime I was going the flat. Now let us talk about the vert vertical oscillation. So vertical oscillation is the distance that your torso is moving vertically while you're running. So now we'll talk about the ground contact time balance. So ground contact time balance is the percentage of the time your foot has spent on the ground. And the ground contact time, as the name says, that it is the time your foot has touched the ground on each stride or with each stride. So now we'll talk about the running power, which is very important these days. So in addition to all these running dynamics that HRM Pro has, it also collects the running power, which you can think of how much power or how much effort you have put on your running. So running power is becoming more and more popular lately, especially in a trail running. Because in trail running, if you want to improve, you may not see the pace itself because when you are going into elevations, your pace may change drastically. It may go up, it may go down. Every company measures it differently. Some of the companies are collecting the data using the wristband itself. Some are using the foot pad and some are using some other devices. This strap is in fact uh, collecting the running power as well. So I have shared this activity uh, on the link below so you can see the activity and you can go through the chart in detail. HRM Pro is more capable than HRM Run. If you have a functioning HRM Run or HRM Try and don't need Bluetooth, then you are probably all set. But if you have a Bluetooth only device or if you like to take the training indoor using the Zwift or treadmill where you want to measure the heart rate using the heart rate monitor and at the same time you want to record it on your watch as well. So I will suggest the HRM Pro will be better choice. One HRM Pro can be connected to both devices, so which will save your money. So it all depends on your choice. I have created various other videos related to the Garmin Connect, Garmin devices and heart rate monitors. Hope you like this video. See you in the next video. Goodbye and take care.